Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to create your first menu up here. In this video today we're going to show you how actually how to decorate and style your menu the way you want it. To do that, let's go down to our dashboard. We're going to go down to Appearance and then Customize. This will take us to this page and we want header and navigation. Now the menu we're looking at up there is the primary menu. Divi, Divi comes with a secondary menu as well. If you add another menu, it'll become a secondary menu and appear up at the top there. OK, so let's work on our primary menu. I'm going to click on it. And you've got options. Make it full width. Hide the logo if you want to. You can choose a, a menu height. It's not a bad idea. Let's make this one say 90. Uh, a little bit too big. Let's say 70. And I'll show you why we're going to do that in a minute. Logo max height. You can set that here. It's as big as you want your logo to get. I'm happy with mine to be about 60. I don't want it any bigger than that for sure. Text size. That's the text we've got here. Slide that up and down. And letter spacing. Obviously that's the space between the letters. Divi comes with an absolutely crazy amount of fonts, so you're never stuck for a style. So you can roll down and choose one of the many styles that they've got here. I'm going to leave mine on the default today. Obviously you can bold, italicize, capitalize, and underline if you want to. Quite like the capitalize, I'm going to leave the rest of it off though. That's fine with me. Now the text color, that's fine, but if you wanted to change it, that's fine too. Let's just make it blue. A little too light. Let's make it the same color as the logo. I got a little chrome color picker here. I'm simply going to get that color. I'm going to copy the hex color there. I'm simply going to paste the hex color in here. There we go, we got it the same as our logo now, that's great. Active link color, that's for all the active links on your site. By default it's going to be like this, you can override them in the individual modules though. I'll leave that just like that. The background color of the menu right there, you can change it if you want to. I'm going to leave mine white for the time being, but obviously you can change it to whatever color you want to there. Drop down menu background color. Well here's our drop down. I'm going to leave that white too, but if you want to change it, you can do that there. Here's that line color that's in between. I like to make that that same blue. It should still be in my clipboard. There we go. That's great. And you've actually got little effects for the drop down menu animation as well. You've got fade, expand, slide up or flip. If I put it on flip, you'll see it kind of flips in when I hover over there. Okay, when you're happy with your changes, hit the publish. Now, if I slide down this page, you might notice that that menu shrinks and the logo shrinks. When we actually start to move, when it shrinks, that's actually the fixed navigation menu. It's no longer the primary menu we're looking at, that's the fixed navigation. So if you wanted to have an effect or a color on there, if we go back here, we've got fixed navigation. Now I kind of quite often don't like my sites to shrink like that. And we gave our fixed menu height of our main one 70. So if we give this 70 also, if you want to stop it from shrinking, that will no longer shrink. And again, there's options for text and hide logo, etc. on scroll. So if I scroll now, that logo should disappear. That's entirely up to you. Once happy, hit the publish. Let's go back. And if we go into the actual header format up here, you've got various different styles. The default is the one that we're looking at here with the logo on the left and the links on the right there. You can have it centered. So the logo is in the middle. You can have it centered inline logo where the logo is in between the menu items there. You can have it as a slide in menu. 
so that we hit the little hamburger and it slides in from the side there. Or you can have a full screen menu where it takes up the whole page when you hit the hamburger up here. So there's some nice little styles to choose from there. I'm going to put mine back to the default. And as usual, when you're happy, hit the publish button. There we go. And if we go up to one of our pages now, if I refresh, it should change to our new styled menu. And there we go, guys. We got our blue links there. When I scroll, it should say the same height. There we go. So there's an overview of how to decorate the primary menu. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.